Hi, I'm Patrick Novotny, this is my YouTube channel, and I'm doing how-to videos on every single necktie knot known to man, and I'm bringing them to you. So if that's the kind of thing that you like, then please subscribe. Alright, today I'm going to be doing a, a knot that's been uh, created by Mr. Linwood, and uh, he has uh, made probably the, one of the more unique ones, if not the most unique uh, necktie knots out there, and it, he likes to call it the four rings knot and only because it shows four rings in the knot. It's a big knot, it's a bulky knot. Uh, I've tried to tie it tight, uh, it just doesn't seem to work right if I tie it really tight. So it's probably best if we just keep it nice and loose and uh, and it has a really big appearance at the same time. So from the side, it, you know, it has a lot of volume. It's a three dimensional knot. Anyhow, I'm gonna show you how to do this cool knot step by step. Let's take a closer look. All right, so here we go on Linwood's four rings knot. Uh, we're going to be tying it with the little end and so the big end's going to be adjusted pretty much to where you want it to be because it's not really going to be adjusted uh, from here. And uh, yeah, so let's have a closer look. All right, so I will uh, dimple the big end, take the little end, we're going to cross over the big end and we're going to feed it up and through the back of the knot and across like that and then from there we're going to keep everything really loose we're going to have the little end go around uh, the big end from behind and we're going to feed it up through this loop keeping everything fairly loose and it's really easy to see what I'm doing then now, somewhere where you don't expect to take a U-turn with your tie, this is where we're going to take a U-turn. We're going to put a, a slight twist into the little end, and we're going to feed it back up through here, like that. And then we're going to tighten it up in a little bit here, but we're going to take the little end and feed it through the top of your tie, and we're going to tuck it in this loop at the back. Now, this is a very loose knot but I promise you it won't fall apart on you because it stays pretty secure once you tuck the last bit through the bottom end here so to get this one just right make sure you keep enough volume and size in your knot like I could fit my thumbs right in there nothing is tight but it starts to take shape A little bit at a time here until you can get it right. Anyhow, that's essentially how you do the four rings knot. A really super knot doesn't look easy when you're first looking at it, and I'm sure people will ask you, how did you do that? And uh, you could say, well, hey, check out this video on YouTube. Anyhow, I hope that uh, helps you try out the four rings knot made by Linwood. My name is Patrick Novotny, this is my YouTube channel. And I'm doing how-to videos on every single necktie knot known to man, and I'm bringing them to you. And if that's the kind of thing that you like, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.